MailChimp automation is where the clever stuff happens. It's basically set and forget marketing. Some people also call it drip marketing and their various other terms. In particular, in regards to email campaigns, it's where we set up an email campaign to go based on an event or a trigger. So, for example, let's say you own a restaurant. And if you have the birthdays of your customers, you could send them an email automatically 10 days before their birthday, for example, saying book your table for your birthday. So we'll go into MailChimp and to demonstrate automation, I'll set up two, two types of automations. Uh, on the one hand, we'll set up that birthday email. And secondly, we'll create a welcome email to welcome people to our list. So let's go into MailChimp itself. I'm looking at my list at the moment. Because I'm creating the, or well, the first automation I'm going to demonstrate is the birthday based on a birthday field, I need to have a date or particularly birthday field in my list. So you'll notice I have, well, people's dog's birthdays. So we can send a happy birthday email to people on the dog's birthdays. So let's do that. So I go into campaigns. I click create campaign and automation is part of email campaigns. So I click email. I'll create an automated campaign. What we're looking at here are the various recipes, I guess, workflows that MailChimp has preset for us. Later on, once we get into the more advanced lessons, I'll go into a custom automation. But for now, we can see that MailChimp has more of the common ones set up for us, such as say happy birthday, celebrate with an exclusive offer or cheerful message that sends based on the birthday field in your list. Or we could welcome new subscribers. Or we could send specific emails to people tagged with specific things. And so it goes on. But I'm wanting to demonstrate the happy birthday email. So I'll click on that. I can call the campaign anything I want to. I choose my list name and click begin. MailChimp is clever enough to realize that I already have a birthday field in my list, so it's added it. It's showing that I'm using the birthday recipe and the list I'm using. Easy enough. Let's go from the top down. So we work from the top down. So one day before the date in the birthday field, send this email. On the day of the birthday, send that email. And one day after the birthday, send that email. And of course I can add more, 10 days after, you know, 10 days before or whatever. So just to show that I can, let me delete this one day after the birthday. So I'll just very quickly delete this so it's not part of the workflow. So I now have two emails, one day before and on the day. I could change, for example, the trigger to be 10 days before. All I do for that, if I don't want it to send one day before, but 10 days instead, I click edit and change the value as I want to and click update trigger. So now 10 days before the dog's birthday, send this email. Just because in this example, I'm only going to send on the dog's birthday itself. I'll just delete this, this email. So I'll click delete email and I'll just very quickly delete it. Okay. So at the moment, my entire birthday recipe is on the birthday at nine o'clock in the morning, send this email. I could change the time it sends every day, but I'll leave it at nine o'clock. So what's going to happen every day, MailChimp at nine o'clock in the morning, it's going to say, okay, whose birthday is it today? Send that email address, this campaign. And it does that every day. So let's very quickly design our email. I won't spend too long on this. We went through building an email campaign earlier. So I'll just, I'll speed this up a little bit. Um, happy birthday, for example, and it's your pet's birthday. Just something along that, those lines. Okay, who it's from, um, the email address it's from, and next. We could, of course, copy a pass send campaign uh, or a save template or a theme. But for now, I'll just create a new one just as the example. So I'm clicking basic one column. 
Again, we've been through this. On the left-hand side, we're going to see the actual message with the content blocks that we're creating. And on the right-hand side are the blocks we can add. Of course, we could come into design and change to our own branding purposes, but I'll just move forwards quickly. So let's add my logo. So I click replace. I'll just very quickly add my logo and click insert. I would obviously add a link and alt text here. I'll just very quickly add some text. Um, something along those lines and we'll just go um, Okay, and of course you might put a button that links back to your website or something like that. Um, the footer will self-fill. We could add social icons. We could add video. We've been through email marketing before. So assuming that's my entire email I want to send on, on the person's pet's birthday, I click save. Oh, sorry. Firstly, don't forget to preview and test. Check your links. Send yourself a test email and so on and so on. And click save and continue. Okay, so... Based on the dog's birthday field in my list, on the day of the dog's birthday, send them this email at 9 o'clock in the morning. So what I do is I click next, check everything's okay and click start sending and start sending. Okay, so just to click on campaigns, you'll notice that my say happy birthday has a little, uh, little sort of recurring arrows going around and it says sending this means it just carries on so automated marketing it's set and forget in that we set it up and it just goes until we actually stop it let's try another automation let's do this let's say we want to send a welcome a specific welcome e email sorry to people based on the landing page they signed up at i'll click create campaign Again, email campaign, again, automation. And this time I just want to send a welcome, introduce yourself to people when they sign up. So I'll click on that. We have three types of welcome series, welcome onboarding or, or whatever series we want to create. We have a welcome message, an onboarding series, an education series. Uh, yeah, look, a lot of people create a series of emails. so. A welcome message is typically singular message, one message. Onboarding series is uh, and education is educating people. You generally send them a series. So maybe send them the first email immediately, send another one a week later, another one a week later, and so on. And it works really well. So let's just create a welcome series to demo this. So I can call this anything I want to. I'll choose my list name and click begin. Okay, so again, this is the workflow recipe called welcome message. It shows the list that I'm using. So one day after they join my list, send them this email and I could add more emails to make it a series. I'll just leave it as one just for this example, but I want to send it immediately. So as people sign up onto my landing page, I want to send them this. So I'll click edit. So one day after they subscribe, I'll click edit. Let's do immediately. So I'll just change this to immediately. So as they subscribe, send them that email. Trigger when subscribers are imported. Um, as the name, as the label says there, um, if you click this, if you check this box, it will send this email when you import people into your list. But for this case, I'm wanting to only send based on when they subscribe to a specific landing page. So we'll use our landing page to get new people, get new contacts into my list. So I'll click update trigger. So immediately after they join my list, I'll create the email. So every day, all day, so all day, every day it'll send. So if a person um, uh, subscribes to your list, for example, on a Sunday night, 5 p.m., it will send at more or less 5 p.m. If they subscribe on a Monday morning at 3 a.m., it'll do the same thing. We could, of course, click edit and change it and um, send only between certain hours and only certain days of the week and so on. But I won't do that for now. The filter by tag or segment. Now, we can set this up to only send to people based on certain things. 
a segment, a tag, and so on. So what I said was I wanted to create this to only send based when people signed up to a very specific landing page, because possibly I'll have multiple landing pages. Maybe I have multiple products. On, um, on uh, let me give my own example. For example, let's say I have a landing page for Mailchimp training in Australia. I have a landing page for Mailchimp training in Singapore, and a landing page for Mailchimp training in USA. I might want to send a welcome email based to the person depending on the country they signed up on. Now, if they signed up to the USA landing page, I might send them the dates, for example, in my welcome email for the USA, because it's no point sending them training dates for Singapore, etc., because they're in the USA. So let's do this. So we can filter by tag. I'm going to click edit. Choose my tag or segment. Okay, now I will create a new segment now to target these people. So I want to go where my source, I just know that's the con, my source is a certain landing page. So I'll go subscribers match the following, where my source. So in our list, the source column, and I covered this in a few videos back, the source column shows us how or where a person signed up to our list. So where my sign up source, sorry, was, I could choose various things, uh, MailChimp for WooCommerce, for Shopify, etc. But I want a specific landing page. And then I can choose the landing page. Okay, I just have one landing page up at the moment. But if you had 10 landing pages, whatever, you'd be able to choose which landing page triggers this automation. And I'll click Save Segment up near the top. Okay. Immediately after subscribers join my list where they... Uh, signed up on a specific landing page, send them this email. I'll very quickly design this email. Um, you could put whatever, oops, see, let's see if my spelling isn't going too well today. Oh, my typing for that matter. Oops. Preview text. Um, I'm just going to click next. Again, we could select a past campaign, but I'll I'll just just for now I'll just create a new one as the example. So I'm clicking basic one column, but all those Mailchimp layouts are really really good and they look great on mobile devices too. Okay, let's add our logo. We've been through this before. I'll just quickly add my logo. Oh, sorry. Um, Click on my image, click insert. I would add a link again, always add alt text, but I won't for this example. And um, oops. Yeah, my typing's really not going well today. And of course, we'd usually add um, the first name, providing that we've received the first name via the landing page. So I could just, again, go merge tags and select the first name field. And so it'll insert the person's first name, personalize it, and so on. Okay. Assuming I have all my contact there, co uh, content in, in the email, test, 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 test. Save and continue. Okay, so immediately after they join my list, where they've signed up on a specific landing page, send them this email. And of course, these welcome series, we can, or sorry, the welcome email, we can make into a series, an onboarding and educational series. So if someone buys a certain product from you, for example, you might want to immediately uh, send them an email saying, thank you for purchasing. A week later, say, hey, did you know we also sell XYZ? Maybe a week later than that, give some information to, to build your brand even more to constantly increase that customer lifetime value and get them repurchasing with you in the, in, in the future. We'll click next. Click start sending, start sending. And again, this just keeps running until we actually stop this. And that's automation. Really, really powerful, saves a lot of time. We spend the time now, set it up, and it just runs for the next year, two years, whatever we want.